Hi everyone, welcome back to a new video. So today I'm going to be doing a pretty kind of cool looking Halloween look. Um, as I explained on my Insta story, make sure to follow me on Instagram guys. As I said on my Insta story, not everyone wants to wear some creepy hard to do look when they go out for Halloween or if they're going to some party around Halloween time. So I thought why not do something that's just pretty and kind of looks cool. I'm going to be wearing some cool contacts. I feel like you can just wear makeup, cool contacts and a wig and you can that's a Halloween look, you know. But today I'm going to be doing something, I would say, dark and smoky on the eyes and going for a dark lip as well. I feel like Halloween's the only time I would go for a black lip. But anyways, let's just jump straight into it. But before we go on to the video, I'm going to do my post notification shout out, as always. I really want to start like putting the comments on the screen because I think that makes it so much better. Today's one goes to Lolita de Grassa. I hope, I hope I'm saying that right, but anyways, thank you so much for the love, hun, and if you guys want to get one next time, all you have to do is subscribe, press that bell button so you get notified every time I post, and as soon as I post, and let me know in the comments below when you've done so, or you can just leave a nice comment. Anyways, let's just jump straight on to the tutorial. I'm going to be using some new products, some not. Um, by the way, I just wanted to talk about this. This collection all day colour mascara is so good it's a clear mascara but i use it on my brows and it keeps my brow hairs in place i'm just going to pop on some tart shape tape um on my eyes i'm going to do one eye first and then that in place it's so annoying because i'm filming at night and we don't have blinds because they broke and we still need to replace it so everyone can see me who walks in front of my house because I have the lights on. That's so creepy, guys. I'm gonna start off with this new NYX limited edition palette. This is the Midnight Chaos. Midnight Chaos palette. And I'm gonna take the blue color right here. And we're just gonna blend this in the crease. You can just go all out of your looks. I definitely can say like Nick eye Nick's eyeshadows are really really pigmented. I don't know why every time I do my eyes I speak so quietly and some of you like point it out. I just it's just a bad habit I have that I need to fix. Recently guys I've been obsessed with this new kind of um series that me and my brother discovered and it's called The Handmaid's Tale. It's definitely really messed up. Like if you like those th um thriller messed up like films or shows you're definitely gonna like The Handmaid's Tale. Like, it's so messed up. Everything is just so messed up. It's very, like, uh, there's a lot of sexual scenes as well. So just bear that in mind. But it's actually such a good show. Like, in terms, not the, like, the whole idea of it, but, you know, the intensity, like, the messed up of, the messed upness of it, I guess. Um, so, yeah, I definitely recommend it. It's got good reviews as well. And I can't believe I haven't watched it or, till now. Like the first season's okay, but the second season is getting like even better and that's what got good reviews. Me and my brother were just watching it and we're just like, what on earth is going on? Um, but yeah, give it, if you like those kind of films or that kind of genre, then definitely try watching it. But it's definitely hard to watch sometimes, I'll tell you that. So I wanna go in with a black, so I'm gonna use my Huda Beauty remastered rose gold palette and I'm going to use this right here the reason why I'm using the Huda View palette is because the black in here is so good like it just blends just how I want it to Okay, there's a super pretty part sparkly shade here and I'm going to use this on the lid. I'm going to use my finger. With eyeshadows like this, I always use my finger. That's looking really cool so far. I might pop some glitter on. Actually, should I? Actually, I'm gonna skip. I think I'm quite happy with it. But if you want, you can add some glitter. If you so for liner, I'm gonna be using the new. It's kind of 
it's still part of the NYX new limited range, it's the Midnight Chaos range, and I'm going to use this, what is this called? Dual ended eyeliner, so you've got liquid eyeliner like a plain colour on one side and then you've got a sparkly metallic liquid on the other side to top on top of it. So I'm just going to use the black side first. This is what it looks like and you literally just pop it off and the applicator is so thin. Okay, so then it comes with the metallic side too. The metallic side is definitely a very wet formula, so just bear that in mind. But I really do like the eyeliner side. They even have like other colours and there's one that has a beautiful brown liner. I feel like the metallicness of the eyeliner you can only see in certain lights. I'm going to use the Mascara Revolution. Mascara by Revolution. It's their new mascara that they come out with recently. It's actually quite good. It definitely packs a lot of product on your lashes, but I kind of really like that. I've always said I really like a mascara that packs a lot of product but still combs through, and this tends to do it for me. I wore this mascara in my previous video, it was quite nice. So we're going to put some um, lashes today. For lashes, I'm going to be using these uh, Crystal Eyes Lashes in Amelia. Oh no. They're just a really nice fluffy kind of lash. Okay, I'm done with my eye guys. I'm going to fix um, the liner later on, like just cover the lash band. These lashes are so fluffy, I actually really like them, but you know, only just for special occasions, you know. I've been working with blue a lot lately, but anyways, we're gonna go onto the skin. I'm gonna use my Embryodice moisturizer. Pop this on. I really wanna do like um, a skit video, which I'm gonna try and film this week, um, about like a Mauritian skit video that I usually do. Oh my god, my battery's flashing, what the hell. I'm gonna use my Fenty Beauty Pro Filter Primer. Mine's all jacked up, like I dropped it, but I still use it, you know, I just unscrewed the top. Like, my Fenty Pro Filter foundation has to be by far one of my most favorite foundations. It just works so well. Um, I use this in shade 330. Someone requested me to use the um, Huda Beauty concealers with this foundation on so that's what I'm going to do today and I really wanted to try the concealer and bake with it as well to see if it creases less. I'm going to use my Fenty Beauty foundation brush and I'm just going to blend this all over. This is a really good colour match for me right now. I remember like on the hottest day ever, I remember I went to a nip and fab event and I wore this foundation and I was boiling, that day was so hot and this foundation stayed on, like it did not budge especially on my upper lip area, like I sweat so much in that area when it's super hot Next I'm going to take my Huda Beauty Overachiever Concealer in Caramel Corn Oh I put way too much I really like the applicator but sometimes I just need to get used to how much product I put because that is a lot I'm going to also use her Conceal and Blend um, brush. I'm just going to blend this. I do have to say I really like the coverage of this concealer. Wow. I want to say it blends even better with a brush. I 
I'm taking a little bit of the same concealer in the hazelnut. I always like to go in with a stippling brush when I use cream product to contour with. I just feel like I have way more control. My camera ran out of battery so I had to quickly change it. Just using a brush to kind of make sure everything is blended and there's no harsh lines. It actually works really well to like contour with, even though I'm using a pretty. I think this shade is quite red. A lot of you did mention that the shade range isn't really good in your your opinion. I mean, I do feel like there could be more brown shades for sure, even like darker shades. But I am, um, the one I use is quite warm and I'm quite happy with it. And I did say, I did also mention that I wish there was more like olive tones. Okay, now that I'm happy with the cream blending, I'm going to use my Huda Beauty powder in Blondie. I'm just going to bake. under my eyes center of my forehead my nose oh I love how like contoured it looks I'm going to use my MAC mineralized skin finish in dark deep just to set that kind of contour bronze a bit more You can go for like a really harsh contour if you want to. You can go all out with this look. Do whatever you feel like, you know? Powder. I'm actually going to take some of this purple shade right here and use it as a blush because I just feel like it. I'm going to take my Nip and Fab strobo strobo Stroboscopic Palette and I think I'm going to take this shade right here. Again, you can go all out with your highlight. I'm gonna grab some of this shade right here, this white shade, and I'm gonna highlight that brow bone. It's pretty. And I'm gonna put some in the inner corner as well. I'm gonna use some of this green right here. I'm just gonna, I'm gonna blend that on the lower lash line. And I'm gonna take the Revolution Mascara and pop a bunch on my lower lashes.
For my black lip, I'm first going to start off with this Colourpop Lippy Stick in Bored Chick. I've used this before in my other tutorials. Okay, so now that's on, I'm also going to top that off with this. I'm using a lot of NYX, but I wanted to play around with their new like limited edition range. So they have this chromatic lip gloss in that melted onyx. And it's, you can't see it from the packaging, but it's beautiful. Finally, set my face with the Smashbox Primer Water. Okay, I'm gonna do my hair quickly and we're gonna pop some contacts in and I'll be right back. All right guys, so this is the final look. It looks super creepy, kind of like, if you went to a party, you know you're like dressed for Halloween, you know? You don't have to do all those cra crazy, like bloody, crazy looks, even though that is fun and that's cool, but if you don't wanna go for that, you still have this option. So I hope you found this video helpful. I'm actually like tripping out about this, like these contacts, like contacts can just make a Halloween look. Did I have black lipstick this whole time? You didn't tell me, guys. <gasps> Anyways, give this video a big like if you did find this video helpful and if you want to see more Halloween looks. I've got some crazy ones coming up soon. Please subscribe if you're new to my channel and you enjoyed this video. It means a lot to me. I love you so much. I will see you in my next one. Bye.